Welcome to other levels. You will continue to learn how to create a logistics transportation management dashboard using Microsoft Excel. Visit our website to get the templates or download the datasets, other-levels.com. Let's get started with the background. We would like to remove the headings and grid lines. Fill in all cells with a black color. Now add a rectangle. Fill it with a gradient color. Please follow the color codes and position. The rectangle should fit on your screen. Then insert a rounded rectangular shape. Reduce the rounded corners slightly. Now remove the outline and fill it with a gray hue. From the 3D format menu, choose the bevel shape. Then make it 20% transparent. Insert a rectangular shape with two sides that are rounded. Set the width and height to fit the first background, then rotate right 90 degrees to fit the background. Choose a black color. Select both shapes and align them to the middle. Make a copy of the shape and rotate it horizontally. Change the color and then insert two additional rectangles. Add shadow to this shape as as follows. The background is ready. Please add the dashboard titles, logo, and truck driving laws. Please check the text format, size, and color. Select Pivot Table and add a monthly slicer.
Right click, slicer settings, hide the slicer header. Set the slicer dimensions. Select of disable not resizing and moving. Now insert a driver slicer. Insert the driver's photos. Recolor it to black and white. Crop images in circular shape. Put each driver's image beside their name. Then, insert a rectangle and fill it with a dark gray color. Here, we will add the driver and buddy salary and wages details. Then, add the wage by month line charts. We must distinguish between them using a line. Next, the driver's and buddy's salaries per trip classify column chart. We will use a gradient to fill it. The background color and outline will be removed. Change how the label looks. The label should be changed to the number category, and zero for the decimal places. Reduce the gap width and reduce the series overlap. Next, the expenses by month column chart. Reduce the gap width. Then remove the chart background. Follow these format steps. The changes are simple and easy to understand.
We'll show you how to do them in the video. If you need any clarification, please write it in the comments below. That's all for today's video, hope you learned something useful for you. However, you can easily purchase this template from our website other-levels.com. Thank you, and see you in the next video.